Hey, what's up guys? Hope this video finds you doing well and welcome back to Persona. So I believe we're supposed to be heading toward the abandoned factory. Hey Johnny, Nanjo keeps saying something's wrong with me. You think so? So yeah, I think she has like amnesia or something. I'm wondering if we should have left those two locked up once we had the card. Baldi better not let the demons overtake the police that easily. Me and Baldi, I mean, that lieutenant had run-ins before and it pissed me off. But he really was worried about me. Could that demon have... Nah, it can't be. There's no way that dude would lay down and die, right? I think he kind of already did die. Because we killed him. <laughs> Alright, um, let's get going. Got to get to the uh, factory. Oh boy, it's been a minute since I've done this, so... Let's see what we got going on here. We use Magaru. Bufu, I think we'll use on these guys. On the hoodlums. On the ruffians. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to use Hama. And Magrai, that's gravity for the whole playing field. All right, let's do it. Got him. <laughs> I think we're still a little over leveled, but I haven't like I haven't like grinded off screen or anything. So um, I think we'll be um, I think we'll be getting to that point where the levels will start to match up with the enemies. So. We're just going to auto everything. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Oh, boy. So let's stop that. <laughs> so everybody's inflicted with something? Okay, not anymore. Dang, they absorb literally everything, so I guess we're gonna have to use, like, guns and physical attacks on these guys. Okay. Let's do that. We'll just, um, actually, we'll go to auto and use guns. Yeah, so I guess they're weak to guns. There we go. Alright, let's go. Make a run for it. To the factory. I think it's down. Well, that's the Sebek building. So I guess it's still down. Down south. Oh boy, we're getting hurt. So Nanjo's persona got to rank six, cool. Uh, Maki's persona reached rank five. And her persona learned rapid fire, that's cool. That should come in handy. Alright, we're going to use some items. Get ourselves all healed up here. Just so we don't end up dying on the way to the factory, which I believe is this way. Dang it. <laughs> I was trying to get to that tree. So that we can uh, drop a quick save. Just in case. Because you never know when you're going to get yourself party wiped and completely die. Alright, yeah, there's the factory. 
So we are, in fact, going the right way. The enemies are a bit tougher, I think. I mean, they're taking some significant damage just so we can defeat them. So we're uh, now at level 14. Just going to keep on pumping into decks. Almost there. Almost there. We can do it. I'm just going to let her keep doing that because she'll eventually keep leveling up just by using her persona. Almost got him. One more. One more to go. I guess that means their defense is down. The little icon. Or maybe their attack is down. I don't know. Alright. We made it to the factory. Thank goodness. So, this is the delivery entrance. Just the sort of thing Kandori would think of. Hey, didn't Masao say he drew this? It's really good. He's pretty talented. Hold on a moment. You came here often, yes? Hell yeah. This place is like a studio for my buds and the tailors. The Taylors, that's his gang name, I guess. <laughs> so you use this place as a hideout and never notice Sebek's involvement? Uh, <laughs> Shut up. It's like, you know, how stuff under your head is hard to notice. That's under your nose, you dunce. Ahaha. <laughs> Come on, that's enough. Let's find the entrance. Somebody's lurking in the shadows over there. Who could that be? There's something over there. Hey, come out and show yourself. It's a Yase. Is that Johnny and the others? Come on, don't scare me like that. Is that you, Ayase? What on earth are you doing here? It's rather unusual to see you alone. Hey, I, like, barely got out alive. Can't you be a little nicer to me? Got out alive? Yuka, did something happen at St. Hermelin? Oh man, it's, like, awful. That stuff about the school being safe was bogus. St. Hermelin's just, like, gone. No way. Then what happened to Yuko and everyone? Did you run away by yourself? How should I know? Like, I have any idea what's going on. Johnny, we have to go rescue everyone. Calm down, Maki. The school most likely vanished due to the Deva system's effects. In which case, our best course of action is to make Kandori undo it. I'm coming with you. If I stay here alone, I'll be totally hosed. <laughs> Ayase, huh? Hosed, you say? What's the word? Are we gonna bring her along? So this is the second person that could um, potentially join your party. But if you let them join, then Reiji will not join you later on. So we're gonna not let them join. We're gonna, we're gonna don't let them join. <laughs> Yo, Johnny, are you seriously not gonna take a Yase with us? Yes, I'm seriously not going to. What the hell? You guys are so mean, picking on me like that. Well, fine, assholes. Go to hell. <laughs> Get out of here. 
I kind of feel sorry for Yuka. Now, there must be a machine nearby where we can use the security card. I suggest we split up and look for it. Alrighty. Hey, did you guys find anything yet? Hehehe, <laughs> I bombed this wall myself. He's just like not even searching. He's just looking at his handiwork. That's what graph writing is about. Letting your soul shout loud and proud. <clears throat> graph writing? I think it's just called graffiti. Something's off about this town and the people in it. You don't say, Maki. Huh? W what? I don't think the machine is over here. But check this one out. This one's cool, isn't it? <laughs> Got some Jack Frost graffiti going on here. Kandori. I sensed he was a crafty one when I met him at a business party. But I didn't imagine he could be this audacious. What are you doing at business parties, Nanjo? You're like a high school kid. So it looks like the machine is over here, I think. Yep, we found it. You find something, Johnny? Huh? Man, so that's where it was. It was under my head the whole time. What's the matter? Johnny found the machine we're supposed to use the card on. Come on, let's give it a try. Wait, we don't know what will happen. Let's think this through. Man, whatever. Come on, fork it over. Huh? I told you to wait. Wha what's going on? Something happened to the lights. <laughs> There's always a trap door, huh? I always think about stuff like this. Like, someone had to build that. Like, all the mechanisms that make it work and everything. Someone spent hours upon hours constructing that elaborate mechanism in the floor. <laughs> Huh, so this is what it's like inside. Isn't this exciting? Masao, are you trying to kill me? Ha ha ha. Sorry, man. Tch, guess he won't go down that easy. Masao, Johnny, hurry on down here. Don't touch anything suspicious without a very good reason. Got that, Masao? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Well then, Johnny, let's go. Come on, Johnny, let's go! So we made it to the uh, abandoned factory underground area. Secret entrance. It's all so amazing, like some kind of sci-fi film. Or like a Persona video game or something. This is nuts. If they're building this kind of crap, they must be serious. Johnny, if you see anything else suspicious, think before you touch it. Honestly, that Masao, it makes me angry all over again to think about it. Ah, you're fine. Don't be a big baby. So I'm gonna... <laughs> drop a save state. All right, let's uh, let's go into this factory here, which is a dungeon. So we need to remember how to play the game. So that's my map. All right, let's go. <laughs> Immediately gets into a fight. Actually, let's uh let's see what we got going on here. We'll keep on using. Magaru. You can use your rapid fire. Uh, can you use Fist of Fury? No. We'll do that and 
I guess you can just keep on using your gravity damage. All right. Rapid fire is a really good skill for Maki to have, actually. It's going to come in handy a lot. All right, let's go this way. It looks like there's a room here. Oops. It's a tree. Even though I just uh, save stated, we'll do a hard save anyway. All right, I guess we'll keep on going this way. See how good that is? Rapid fire is awesome. Oh yeah, and there's a s switch. There's a lever on the wall. Pull the lever. Yes, we need to pull this lever. Uh, and then that's a dead end. Keep on going this way. Get into a couple of fights. We're doing pretty good. For now. I think we're like at the right level for all of this, so... If not a little overpowered, I'm pretty sure. Uh, these dungeons, man, I forget. They get pretty crazy later on. I forget how to do all this or like where to go. So it can be confusing. Which, again, I'm not like a persona expert or anything, but we're probably going to get lost a lot. <laughs> That was a lot of enemies, but looks like we're taking care of them pretty good. Nice. I'm pretty sure this is a dead end, yep. Alright, let's go that way, dead end. Alright, let's go this way. <laughs> oh, forgive me. It might take a while, but oh well. We got time. It's all good in the hood. It's almost as if we're playing a video game or something. Oh, it's another switch. There we go. Well, we found it. <laughs> all right, so let's activate this lever. And now we need to figure out where to go from here. We're doing pretty good on it, um, on SP for now because you regain it whenever you walk around the dungeon, and we're level 15 already. Wow. Okay. Maki got herself a level up as well. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a dead end. Yep. We'll just go this way. Hopefully, I'm going the right direction. And if I'm not, then we'll just be able to keep gaining experience points, which is always good. All right, this looks promising. Some stairs. Alright, I think we're going the right way, guys. I feel like Maki's different somehow. It looks like we can enter the Sebek building now. Alright, what do you got to say, Maki? This is kind of exciting! It is, isn't it? So we got some chests over here, let's open these up. One medicine, wow. And a rattle drink. What does Rattle Drink do?
Restores moderate HP. Okay. Uh, I'd say we're doing pretty good. So let's uh, keep on going this way. Alright, so now we're in the Sebek building. The demon spoke to you. Let's answer. What's with that face? If you've got a problem, then spit it out. Say. Shut up. <laughs> uh, we'll try to sing to him. Makes him happy. Woo! We'll just keep doing that. Oh, it made him angry? No, it's making him happy. Okay. Oh. Well then. That was rude. Alright, Maki's Persona got to rank 6. We're doing really good with leveling up. Alright, let's see what all these rooms are. Got another tree here, which is good. And I'm pretty sure these other rooms are just going to be like healing stations and shops and things like that. Yeah, Trish. Hi, I'm Trish, and this is my fountain of healing. This world runs on give and take. Give me money, and I'll take away your pain. Uh, we're just dropping by. We don't need you to heal us right now. You called me out for no reason? Boo to that. Get out of here. <laughs> you were so nice a second ago. Yeah, these guys, these uh, men in black. We'll just keep on using our auto for now. Oh my goodness. They did some damage, man. Utah's almost dead. Come on, Utah, you can make it. <laughs> so we're going to have to heal you up nice and good for a second. <laughs> See how easy it is to almost die, basically? All right, we'll give you a heal, too. All right, what's in this room? Probably a shop. Yep. Ah, uh, I guess we could buy some stuff. What do we need here? Um, damn, that's expensive. So I think that salt here, um, it like helps you avoid random encounters, I think. But we'll just, uh, we'll get some rattle drinks. We'll get like 10 of them. All right, um, equipment. Can you sell us equipment? No. All right, let's get out of here. What's in this room? Yeah, you came through the basement? I've heard rumors of a division down there that's a secret even to employees, but you say you went through it? Huh? The general manager's room all the way up. Is he expecting you? Oh yeah, he's expecting us. So, um, even the employees here have no idea what's going on. So these elevators here, they said to go all the way to the top. 
It's broken. Okay, so these elevators are, in fact, broken. So let's go back outside. And looks like there's an elevator right here. Um, we'll just go one by one. We'll go to floor two. Almost made it to the room. <laughs> These guys uh, shouldn't be a problem. There's only three of them. Yeah, yeah, we got him. Alright, what's in here? Probably a tree. No? Some kind of office. There's no time to waste here. We've got to get this town back to normal. We just got to do something about Kandori, and this town should go back to normal. All right, so let's check these uh, lockers here. Glock 26. So we'll get some armor and weapons and bullets. All right, let's, uh, let's look at our equipment here. Do the optimal. Optimal. He has an AK-47 now. Oh, he had like nothing equipped. That's because we just got him back and I forgot to like equip all of his stuff. <laughs> all right, we're all good now. All right, let's get out of here. Bunch of men in black. I think after this episode, I might do some grinding because these guys are tough. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage and we're hardly doing a significant amount of damage. Nani! <laughs> Got him. We get some good XP for fighting those guys, though. Alright, where was I going? This way. Another office. The Haunted Mansion. I used to go there a lot to play when I was a kid. Ah, yes. The childhood pastime. Playing in Haunted Mansions. Don't you remember doing that as a kid? What's Kandori doing? He's treating the corporation as his personal property. Biological warfare? So I guess these guys are mentioning all this stuff. I saw the ghost of a girl in black at the office once. It must be the curse of the haunted mansion. Of course. Yeah, that's right. So Sebek was built on the grounds of an old haunted mansion or something. I knew there was something funny about this company, but I didn't think they'd resort to biological warfare. Scorpion Whip. I think that's a weapon for Ayase, but she's not on our crew. Flame Shawl? Hmm. All right, got some loot, and let's head back outside into the hallways. Oh, these guys, they suck, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, see, they absorb a lot of stuff. <laughs> you missed. Get him, Maki. Got him. Okay, we'll retrace our footsteps here and then we'll 
go to floor three. I mean, I guess you could just bypass all of this. I mean, I don't know if it would be smart to do it since there is, like, loot and things like that. Nanjo is getting a little low on health, actually. Oh boy. Oh my god. That was good damage. We got some good XP, too. Climbing up these levels. Alright, so... Looks like we uh, should keep going this way, perhaps. Ah, oh, is that a dead end? Oh, nice. That was cool. No, I guess it's not a dead end. It looks like there's something here. This isn't the basement? Why is this room above the ground? What is he talking about? I can't believe this. We couldn't have calculated it would even change this building's structure. That scientist says he knows my mom, but I don't have a mother. Excuse me, did you see a woman on your way here? She had short hair and glasses. Oh, Sonomura, please be safe. Yeah, so he's talking about Maki's mother, the person who got shot. Those scientists, what kind of research is going on here? This is one suspicious place. Huh, guess the rumors about Sebek had a little truth to him. So that treasure box was trapped. Or booby trapped. Titanium guard. What does my health look like, actually? Oh, it didn't even really hurt us. Uh, should I equip that titanium? Yeah. Everybody else? Okay, so there's a titanium guard for her. Spectra Vest Plasma Sword. What the heck? Alright then. Kandori must have used that machine. So that door is locked. Alright, let's um let's go back outside. Man, they absorbed that. Get him, Maki. <laughs> We're just gonna keep healing him, basically. <laughs> I guess he could technically grind like this for a while. Granted, you don't die in the process. I'm probably gonna have to stop that. Yeah. Okay. We'll just use guns. Oh, crap. Mark's almost dead. These guys are tough. Seriously? <laughs> See ya, Mark. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> All right. We'll do some healing with the uh, magic here. I guess I'll drop a save for safe measure.
Can I get to those stairs? I can't really... What would I need to, though, for... Ah, crap. <laughs> I was just trying to look. I think we'll just go for the elevators, actually. I don't know. I kind of wanted to see if I could get to those stairs, but I don't think I could. Ah, we'll just go this way. Let's just get back in the elevator. <laughs> Floor number four. Another office way over here in the corner. There's no time to waste here. We're not wasting time. We're gathering resources, Nanjo. We've got to get this town back to normal. So they're saying the same things, I guess. We just got to do something. Ooh. I'm poisoned? Do I have any items for that? This poison? There we go. Did I even get an item from that? Delta Storm. Ingram. Okay, so that's some more weapons, I think. Yeah, Delta Storm. That's Maki's. Awesome. You still have, like, the base... Freaking weapons, Mark. Two-handed axe. Do shotguns take 9mm rounds? That doesn't make sense. I'm not really a huge gun buff, but I don't know. Doesn't sound right. Uh, these guys will be easy. I think they're weak to wind. Which is my specialty, Johnny Utah's specialty. Makakaja. Oh, they took a lot of damage. Alright, let's head back this way, see what's on this floor. You guys again, we just killed you. Oh. Liftoma? What does that do? I don't know. Rapid Fire seems to be uh, kind of carrying us along here. Crap. Dead end. Dang it. Alright. Do you believe in destiny? I think our meeting is pretty good proof. Let's, uh, invite. Scared? Oh, no. Sing? Oh, no. Uh, maybe... Flatter? Oh, crap. Plead? Well, nothing makes this demon happy. Dang it. Ah, oh, crap. They're coercing us, but you just glared back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a pointless encounter. I guess we'll just have to get rid of them. Yeah, these guys are definitely the toughest enemies of the dungeon. They seem to be pretty resistant to most things, so... Kind of poses a problem, but not too much since we're taking care of them okay, I guess. What's up, guy? 
angry Sebek employee. Who the hell changed everything around? Why is there a storage room here? And what's with the weird toys? If I ever get my hands on this clown... Weird toys. Let's hurry and find Kandori. Looks like these people are victims too. It seems Sebek's rank and file know next to nothing. Their rank and file. Shut up, Nanjo. <laughs> a kid in a uniform like yours passed by earlier. I can't believe something like this happened on the day of your field trip. It must be tough for you kids. <laughs> so they think we're on a field trip here? Black shoes. I think that's a weapon for someone else that isn't in our party. Is it? Or is that Maki's equipment? Yeah, it is actually. Well, I guess leather shoes are better. Unless... Okay, they're mine actually. Black shoes. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Get on back into the scary hallways. But not before I drop a save. Um, let's use our guns. Because I think they absorb, like, everything. Oh my god. Keep shooting! Keep shooting! Maybe I should try magic? I don't know. I think they absorb wind. Or something like that. Ah, crap. Alright. Mark is always the first one to die. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Spin kick? Uh, I guess we'll just try it. Rapid fire, we'll go with that. Uh, oh, this raises our magic for all allies. Maybe we should start using that actually to like buff up our party. And Magrai, we'll see if they're... Okay, Maki took care of them. We need to heal Mark really quick, actually. We'll give you a drink. Give you a rattle drink. Ah, oh, crap. I knew that was a dead end. But I did it anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maki. Hell yeah. <laughs> I guess that was all that was here? Yeah, alright. Let's go to the fifth floor. I think this is the last area of this dungeon. If I remember right, I thought there was like a trick or something. You had to like go down a floor and then up a floor or some dumb crap like that. Oh, that just means you're unlucky. Okay. Doesn't really affect anything, I guess. Oh, boy. Hang in there, Nanjo. I think everybody needs some healing. Mark wasn't the first one to go on that one, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, what's this way? Probably dead end. No? Okay. 
You guys, prepare to die. Okay, yeah, there we go. Start buffing our party. <laughs> I guess it's raising our magic. I guess it's doing something. Level 17. All right, cool. Oh, stairs. Okay, yeah. What's in this room? Velvet room. Okay. So, this is Igor. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It's been quite some time since we last had a guest. This is a room that only those bound by a contract may enter. From this day forth, you will be our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will in inevitably require our help. The velvet room is also known as the room of personas. A persona is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world. Think of it as a facade of protection you wear to face hardships in life. Hmm, perhaps that may have been rather difficult to understand. To battle opponents that cannot be dealt with by human strength alone, we in this room will lend you inhuman power, the power of demons. Now then, allow me to explain my role here. I will assist you in giving birth to new personas. The demons contained within the spell cards you hold will be fused as one, thereby creating a new persona. Should you find yourselves with these cards, please do bring them here. What is it you desire? So remember those spell cards from like episode one um, that you can get? I don't think I showed it on camera actually, but you can collect a demon spell card and then fuse them together to create uh, new personas. And the fusion in this game compared to like all the other Persona games is a bit crazy and wild. It, it's pretty daunting at first glance for new players to like understand and, you know, myself included. So, uh, let's see here. So for Utah, I think Urveshi is a pretty good one. We're going to go with that one. Actually details stun by that's nuclear damage medium fire damage blast damage see that's a good persona and everything but what are the ones on this one yeah Urveshi um Mabufu to Alfos so yeah, this persona, I think, is the one we're going to fuse and go with because I know the next boss that we're going to get to is, like, weak to ice power. So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna go with this one here. Uh, what do we need to fuse here? I guess we'll just use any of them. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Unless their levels have something to do with it, because I know the Pixie's a level 2 and then the Zombie Nurse is level 5. Would you like to add an item? Uh, oh yeah, you can add items to your fusion. I don't... Uh, oh, it's a random effect. Teaches skill. Light earth damage. Oh, that teaches it earth damage, I guess. Uh. 
So you have to play Code Breaker to like get skills on your metal cards, it looks like. Uh, let's, you know what, we're not going to add an item. We're just going to fuse the demons. Nah, we're not going to add one. Alright. So, do we choose our skills now? Is that what we're doing? Oh, okay, I guess that's just the skills that we're going to get. Yeah, that's the persona that we would like. Here comes the Persona Fusion. All right. What would you like to do? Let's see if we can actually fuse that, uh, that other one as well. Uh, would this be good for any other character in our party? Oh, Nanjo. It's good with him. And Mark. Let's go with Nanjo. Let's fuse this one for Nanjo. Right? That's the one we want. Medium blast damage to all foes. This looks pretty good. What does this one do, actually? Twin slash. Medium fire damage to the area. I think we'll go with this one. Quetzal Codal. Would you like to add an item? No, we're not going to do that. Wait, so can I even take on this persona since Nanjo's level 14 and the persona is level 17? I guess so, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that animation is. Is he, like, talking on a phone? All right, all right, all right. Uh, I guess that's... Well, let's do another one and see if there's anything good for... Maki... Medium ice damage plus freeze to the area. That actually might be good, so we're gonna do this since I know the uh, the next boss fight is weak to ice. All right, let's do it. Can I skip this animation this time around? I guess not. <laughs> oh well. Get fused, nerds. Oh, there's been an irregularity. Uh, well, yeah, I just used them all. All right, see ya, Igor. Okay, let's equip these personas. Uh, can I? Where's my persona? Can we not? Hold on a minute. <laughs> So 
So do I not have the persona now or something? What happened? Did I mess up somewhere? Or do I have to do it in the Velvet Room? Take on Persona. I think this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, all right. So we'll take on Urvashi. And who is this here? I don't see a name anywhere. Who is this? Oh. So yeah, you need this one. And then you need this one. Oh yeah, you're not even, you're not level 17 yet. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, that's fine. That's good enough. Alright, so now I think we can equip our uh, persona. Persona! Yeah, so you can use Urvashi. You use this one, and you can't use yours yet because you're not strong enough. Okay, let's... I guess we'll save really quick. Let's go in this room. Looks like there's a tree here. And we've been going for about an hour, so I'll probably save and then... Uh, then we'll uh, keep on going and try to get to the end of this dungeon. So that, we, uh, so that way we can test out our new personas. Maybe I'll do some grinding off-screen so that Nanjo can be... Uh, level 17 and use his persona as well so I'll probably get everybody up to like level 20 or something but uh yeah anyway I'll do this again uh, yeah as always I'd like to thank you for watching my uh, persona videos and I hope you have a good time watching them and uh, I will see you on the next one bye